as the sun dipped behind the horizon, casting long shadows over the bustling intersection. Mark strolled along the sidewalk, lost in his own thoughts. Suddenly, a screech shattered the evening calm, followed by the sickening crunch of metal. Instinct kicked in. Mark's heart raced as he sprinted toward the chaos unfolding before him. A car, careening out of control, was hurtling toward a group of pedestrians, including a child frozen in fear. Without a moment's hesitation, Mark lunged forward, his arms reaching out to snatch the child from harm's way. Adrenaline surged through his veins as he felt the weight of the child in his arms, the force of the wind whipping past them as they narrowly avoided the speeding vehicle. With a final burst of energy, Mark stumbled to safety, collapsing onto the pavement with the child cradled in his arms. Around them, the world seemed to spin in a blur of flashing lights and blaring sirens. As paramedics rushed to the scene, Mark's mind raced with a million questions. Was the child hurt? Would they be okay? And what about the driver, whose reckless actions had sparked this terrifying chain of events? Amidst the chaos, Mark's gaze locked onto the child's face, searching for any sign of injury or distress. But to his relief, the child's eyes met his own, wide with fear yet alive with gratitude. Hours later, as the commotion of the accident began to fade into the background, Mark found himself sitting beside the child in the hospital waiting room, their hands intertwined, a silent bond forged in the heat of the moment. But as the minutes stretched into hours, doubts began to gnaw at Mark's conscience. Had he done enough? Could he have acted faster, reacted differently? The weight of uncertainty pressed down on him like a heavy burden, threatening to suffocate him with its relentless grip. Finally, a doctor emerged from the depths of the hospital, their expression grave, yet hopeful. With bated breath, Mark listened as they delivered the news he had been desperately hoping for. The child is going to be okay, the doctor said their voice filled with a mixture of relief and admiration. Thanks to your quick thinking and bravery, they escaped with only minor injuries. Tears of gratitude welled in Mark's eyes as he embraced the child, overcome with emotion at the knowledge that they were safe and sound. In that moment, he knew that he had done the right thing, that his actions had made a difference in someone's life. As they emerged from the hospital into the cool night air, Mark felt a sense of peace settle over him like a comforting blanket. The world may be filled with chaos and uncertainty, but in that one fleeting moment, he had been given the chance to make a difference. And for that, he would be forever grateful.